And there was no expectation that just because I had a degree meant that I was going to get a job. Somebody commented the other day, oh, your name's T-Roy Self-Help Journey. Self-help and you're scrolling reels. I scroll reels sometimes. And I just saw a reel of this guy who like clipped, what do they call it? Whatever, where they take a clip. Somebody's like reel. And it was this girl. Apparently she's Gen Z. She's like early 20s. I'm late 20s. I'm like tail end of millennial. Almost 30 actually. 30 in about a month. And so I'm like tail end of millennial. And what she was complaining about was, I have this degree, I have this degree, I have this certificate, and I can't even get a job. People just want me to like answer calls for them, <clears throat> be like a, a call answer person. And uh, it started, it, I kind of started thinking <clears throat> about when I graduated. It took me about seven or eight months to actually get hired somewhere. And there was no expectation that just because I had a degree meant that I was going to get a job. I don't know who is instilling this in these people, because in me, I feel like either I just had it in me, the mindset, or somebody instilled the mindset that you're not just going to get a job automatically. It might be kind of difficult for you to get a job after college, because you're young. And I realized I was young, <clears throat> so I didn't leverage the fact that, <clears throat> or I leveraged what I could. I leveraged the fact that maybe I, I had more energy Actually, one thing that they told me at the end of, um, so I, I graduated with an athletic training degree. It's a sports medicine degree, four-year degree. When you're an athletic trainer, you help with sports injuries. You could work at a school. You could work at um, like a facility, at a hospital, rehab center, whatever. Normally, people work at like schools and for professional, sport, or professional sports teams, and, uh, college sports teams, other sports teams, whatever. So anyway... I remember them telling us, don't leverage the fact that you have experience, even though we did a lot of like clinical rotation hours, like we did a lot, the school I went to, they do a lot of, uh, a lot of those, you get a lot of experience working for free, by the way, <clears throat> paying for college. And even though you have that experience, you're not like experienced experience because you haven't been on your own two feet. You know, a school has been like kind of holding your hand, but even though you've been working with teams, you've been working under somebody the whole time. So when you go like out into the workplace or when you're looking for a job, it's just you and that's like the first time that you're doing it. So I was about 23 when I graduated, I think. Um, I started the program a tiny bit late. So I went to school for five and a half years, including my half year internship. So... Uh, when I was interviewing, I never thought, okay, this is going to be easy. Let me just get a job. There was a little bit of worry over those like seven or eight months after college that I wasn't getting hired. <coughs> and I started doing like a few gigs. Somehow I came in communication with somebody through email, through a friend of a friend of some guy who, uh, hires athletic trainers for the weekend to work like certain tournaments. So I did a few of those gigs, but overall, I was just going to interview after interview after interview, working on my, like I read a book, um, Winning Body Language by Mark Bowden, or Bowden. So I basically, I worked on my body language during interviews. I looked back at interviews, what I could have done better. I looked at my resume and said like, okay, what's going to make these people hire me? Leveraging the fact that you're young, you can leverage that you have... Um, more up-to-date knowledge. You can leverage the fact that you have, like from, from college versus people that are older than you. You can leverage the fact that you're younger and you have more energy, I, I guess, uh, that you can like learn new things better. So you can leverage certain things when you're younger versus when you're older. Obviously, people who are older, who have been at a certain career for a while, have more experience at that career, and that's what they can leverage. But... Um, you have what you have to leverage. So <clears throat> with this girl in this reel, uh, it's kind of funny that she's she doesn't want to like get a job answering calls when that might be at a company that she might want a different job at in the future. And maybe that's like a stepping stone to it. I don't know. I don't know what her career is. It's just like a really short reel. But the message in this video that I wanted to say was for young people who are looking for jobs is... <laughs> I wanted to share my experience of like that, that mindset of like, nothing's guaranteed. You're not pro like, you're not guaranteed anything. You're, you're living in a world where 
companies want to hire the best person for that position that they have open at their company, what's going to make them want to hire you? So by sitting there just saying, oh man, I have this, I have this degree, I have this degree, what's this for? You can be frustrated about it, but to sit there and complain isn't going to do anything versus you actually working on your interview skills, learning what companies want, learning what positions you can fill at companies for now, and maybe doing a job that you don't really want to do for about a year as a stepping stone to a new job. Maybe. Because honestly... You can disagree with me if you want. College is pretty easy. You show up, you do classes, and I had a lot of clinical rotations. I had a lot, a lot to learn at college, a lot of hands-on stuff to do. So college is pretty easy when you think about it. It's, you show up, you read books, and you, uh, you know, you memorize things. You talk in class, <clears throat> and you learn what you need to learn, and then you take tests and you pick A, B, C, D, E. Which answer is it? And that's it. You know, people are going to want to hire you because they um, want you to fulfill that role the best that you can. They need a role f fulfilled at their company. Can you fulfill that role? And I think it, I don't know, it just seems a bit entitled. Comment if you disagree. It seems a bit entitled to say, I don't want to do that position that you offered me. I want, I'm qualified for that position. But that company is saying like, well, I don't want you or need you at that position. I have somebody who is maybe more experienced or I have somebody that I just, I just want for that position that's going to do a better job of that position. Or I believe is going to do a better job. You kind of do have to prove yourself in a way. I hate to say that because... After I graduated, honestly, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun, like, learning the interviewing skills, learning the people skills, um, learning what to sell about myself to these companies, like, what aspect. Like, okay, do, can I leverage more of the fact that I can, you know, learn more? Can I leverage more of the fact that, or, you know, that I'm open to learning because I'm younger? Can I leverage the fact that uh, I'm confident? Can I show my con How do I display confidence in an interview? How can I work with the experience that I've got already? If I've got some experience. And if you don't have an experience, you have to get experience. So that's my message is it can be really fun after you graduate to start building skills. And if you don't, I don't know, it, if that doesn't click with you, if, you're, if you can't sit here after this video, even for like a couple hours or a couple days just thinking, like what can I do to start building myself up to make myself a better potential employee or a better potential worker? I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> sorry to be offensive, but like go for this specific girl, go be a housewife so that you can stay home and just take care of the house and like raise a family. Cause like, if you don't want to do what you have to do to just build yourself up into a better worker. And if you're not like, actually, if you can't find the passion in it, if you can't make it fun, then maybe it sounds like you don't even want to do what you're doing. Um, there's a stepping stone to like your, your job that you want, the dream job. It's not like guaranteed, like you're working towards that. When you were in college, you were working towards that and you're still working towards that. And that journey, that process can be fun. If you can't make it fun, like <laughs> again, do, do the house thing or if you're guy washing this the house stay at home while <clears throat> your partner works but otherwise um make it fun like make whatever you can today fun about the process because that's what's going to get you better every day um also it's just going to make it you're going to wake up in the morning a little bit happier and present in the moment <laughs>